Welcome back to M-Coding. Hope you're having a great day. Adders is a library to help you write Python classes in a simpler, less error-prone, less boilerplate-y way. It offers similar functionality to the built-in data classes library, and in fact, data classes was originally based on adders. Very commonly, when I write a class, I need to define an init, an equals, a wrapper, maybe a hash, less than, etc. And most often, all those functions are complete boilerplate. Who can even remember all of them, and if I do, yeah, maybe procrastinate on actually filling them in. Init means self.blah equals blah for each argument. Equals means check self.blah equals other.blah, and so on. If I want to add or remove an attribute, I now have to add or remove it in all of these places, which is both a huge waste of my time as well as a very likely place where I make a typo and break everything. Enter adders and other data class like solutions. Instead of writing all that, they write it for you. Delete all that flaky, error prone code. Here's how you write it with adders. Let's watch that again because it was so satisfying. Nice. You can also customize the generated code using parameters to define, or by using these field objects on individual attributes. This is implemented by posting wrong code to Stack Overflow and waiting for someone else to write it for you. Just kidding, it's this define decorator. It could also be done with a meta class, but adders and data classes both take the decorator approach instead. At this point, you may feel your knee jerking upwards telling you that this is too much forbidden magic, but fear not, after the decorator runs, the result is the plain old class that you would have written yourself. We can even inspect, say, the init method to see the source code it generated. Self.blah equals blah, and so on. Exactly the boilerplate we wanted to avoid. No magic is happening when you use the class. The plain old boring repetitive code is still there, and the resulting class is just as efficient as if you had handwritten it. It's just that you didn't have to handwrite it. While the logic of this decorator is complex, ultimately all it's doing is using your annotations and whatever parameters to write the source code of each function in the class, and then it executes that code to create the function objects and stick them onto the class. But pretty much everything I've said applies just as well to data classes as it does to adders, so why do I prefer adders? To be clear, data classes are still great, and once they came out when they were first released, I started using adders less and less just due to their convenience of being built into Python. But in the past year, the tables have really started to turn and I'm choosing adders over data classes more and more. The first reason is slots, which is kind of a superficial thing because both adders and data classes support slots. But adders makes slotted classes the default, and good defaults are surprisingly important. I have a whole video on slots if you want to check out the details, but the short version is that normal Python classes are basically syntactic sugar around a dictionary. And just like a dictionary, they can have arbitrary new keys, attributes, added to them. In contrast, a slotted class has a fixed set of instance attributes, which makes it slightly more efficient, but also this prevents a very common bug from making a typo. If I accidentally try to set user.name equals James, instead of getting an error on a normal class, I would just silently create the name attribute on my instance, leaving the old name unchanged. There's no error, I just now have incorrect data in my application. Can't wait to ship it to a customer only for them to tell me every name in their database is null. But on a slotted class, as soon as I try to set the name attribute, I get an error telling me I done goofed again, telling me name isn't a valid attribute. While it's certainly possible that you want the ability to dynamically create new attributes on your class at runtime, it's far more common for classes to know all their attributes ahead of time, so it makes sense for slots to be the default. But like I said, adders and data classes both support slots, so what's the problem? This brings me to my second reason, versioning. Data classes are part of the Python standard library. As Python develops, more and more features like slots are added to data classes. But if I want to use those features, I need to upgrade my version of Python, which may involve convincing a client to upgrade and or drop support for an older version of Python. That might not be acceptable, and in a world where many companies are still using Python 3.8, that means no slots if I'm using data classes since they aren't supported until Python 
In contrast, if Adders introduces a new feature that I want to use, all I need to do is bump the version of Adders on a per project basis, which is super easy to do. And reasons 3, 4, 5, and so on are all of the features that Adder supports that Data Classes just doesn't. In particular, Adder supports validators, converters, and factories that take a self parameter. And it allows you to set specific on set adder hooks per attribute. So you could, for example, make only one field frozen, but allow the others to change. Another superficial one, adders recognizes the importance of immutability and gives you a top level frozen alternative to define that just sets the frozen parameter to true. These are all little things, but when you use a tool like this every single day, these little things really start to add up, which is why I find myself using adders more and more in 2023. Let me know what you think. Do you use adders? What about data classes? Or do you prefer handwriting all your classes? Thanks for watching. Thank you to my patrons and donors. Slap that like button an odd number of times, and I'll see you in the next one. Do you have a Python or C++ project at your company that needs a bit of love? Well, my company does consulting, so check out mcoding.io to see if I might be able to help.